Yes, yes, I know. I just made a video on this topic earlier today. But after watching some other content, some other YouTubers covering this Tati Westbrook and James Charles drama situation, like something just really wasn't sitting well with me and I wanna discuss it in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community and try to turn this mess into a message because what good is consuming all of this content if we're not trying to take something away to apply it to our everyday life? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, like I said, I've been sitting here, this has been a crazy week. Like just what's going on in the YouTube community, like it has been nuts. So let me just break it down real quick. This last week, okay, we had Austin Jones going to prison for 10 years for what he was doing, okay? We had the pro Jared situation. We also just had Edwin's generation cover the Melanie Martinez situation and now Tati Westbrook is exposing James Charles right and some of his behaviors okay and like I hate to lump all these things together so real quick disclaimer just me and just like my beliefs my opinion on situations like although I'm kind of I started off this video like grouping all these people in together like I think it's absolutely wrong that we put we don't recognize that these things are on a spectrum you know what I mean like saying that, you know, what James Charles did is just as bad as Austin Jones is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's important that we look at these as case by case situations. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that more when it comes to James Charles' behavior. And I think we also need to look at that as a case by case situation. But he's absolutely, he's absolutely taken advantage of his power. And that's kind of what I want the theme of this video to be. We are seeing, we are seeing a common trend in, in YouTube, but not just YouTube, right? It, it's happening all over the world in every type of industry where there is this abuse of power for somebody to basically get their rocks off, right? Like look at the pro Jared situation and look at what he's been doing and how he it's been exposed about how he's been taking advantage of his fans and everything like that. Like this is a major issue. So, some of you loyal rewired soldiers out there, you know that I've been covering some, some true crime lately. I've done some videos on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Um, I did a video on Ted Bundy a few days ago. But when it comes to like court and trials, like some of the strongest evidence a case can have is eyewitness testimony, all right? So the first situation that we have is that in a video with Nikita Dragon, James Charles and Nikita were laughing about how, you know, they, they have a thing for straight boys, right? And I talked about this in another video, like, you know, there are some, you know, straight men who become bi-curious and things like that, right? So it's like, okay, that's like red flag number one, right? But then we had Gage Gomez come out with his whole testimony about the James Charles situation. And he was straight and he felt taken advantage of and all of that. Now, real quick, like, like I said, I think it's important to look at things in case by case situations. And I'm gonna get to the Tati Westbrook uh, situation in a second. But like I covered this before, like even Tana Mojo, who is a friend of James Charles, like discussed how from her point of view, it looked like Gage was taking advantage of James Charles just as much as James Charles was taking advantage of Gage Gomez. I think that whole situation was a mess. I think that this that was a primary example of what happens when two people are just using and manipulating one another. Like that's just not cool. But then when Tati Westbrook came out with her video today, we see that this is an ongoing behavior of James Charles. And that's why I felt compelled to make this video because like I said, this just keeps happening. This just keeps happening where people get into a position of power and they use that. They use that as a way to take advantage of other people. Like Tati Westbrook like talked about, like this is something that James Charles like joked about and he talked about regularly and she would call him out on that behavior. Now, real quick, I'll, I'll play devil's advocate for just a second because I like to look at these situations and see, you know, what's going on and, and just play out different scenarios, do, do some thought experiments and everything. So I don't, think, I don't think it's fair to say 
that anybody who's in a position of power, like when the power dynamic is different, that they should never date another person who is on a different level of that power dynamic. You know what I mean? Like, that would be insane. Like, hell, look at like, uh, I, I don't, who is it? Like. Prince Harry, well, I think both of them, they dated, you know, pretty regular women. You know what I mean? Like they didn't find like another princess, you know, in some faraway land. So I think that is something to take into consideration. But what I'm getting at is when we look at all these situations, there's still the same root problem. There's, there's always this root problem. And, and this is something that's not new. It's not new, right? Like when the whole Me Too movement started and we saw that, 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 disgusting human being, Harvey Weinstein, it was him using his position of power over and over and over and over and over again, right? So like, I wanna make it very clear, like based on everything that's come out, I don't think James has committed any, any kind of crime, but like, it, it's important, like I think it's important for anybody in, in a position of power to really take a step back and look at everything happening in our world, right? But like I said, this isn't new. Like I remember being in high school. I remember being in high, <laughs> in high school and like getting so upset because I was like a freshman or a sophomore and like a girl I liked, she had a crush on a senior or she started dating a senior. I'm like, well, pfft, well screw me, that's not fair. Like how am I supposed to compete with some dude who's older than me, has a driver's license and a car, he can grow facial hair and all that kind of stuff. But you see this throughout life. You know what else ticked me off was when you know, like people in high school were dating like, you know, call it soon now. Like, okay, there's like a whole legal aspect of that. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is, is that it's something that we see a lot in life where people with some kind of, some kind of level up on the social hierarchy, you know, they, they find other, other people who are lower than them, right? Um, in some way, shape or form, not lower than them, but you know what I mean, you know exactly what I mean. So what is the solution? What is this solution? In my opinion, in my opinion, I think it's just really important that friends, family members, anybody in a support group, they, they are keeping an eye on their friends or an eye on their sons or daughters or whoever it is and recognizing when a situation might be a little, I don't know, like a little uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Like talking to this person saying like, okay, like are you doing this just because this person's in a position of power? Like why are you, why are you doing this, you know? And like just talking with them about it and having these open lines of communication. But all of us too, we need to have this kind of awareness. Like here's the thing, like I've mentioned this, I have a video that's still getting views. I have a video about this in the 12 step community when the Me Too movement came out. Like something that, you know, I, I love 12 step programs. They absolutely saved my life. But there are people in there who take advantage of this power dynamic as well. Like there's somebody with years of sobriety and they, they, they target or they prey on newcomers. And in my opinion, that is so, so, so out of bounds. Like you don't do that. Like people who just get sober, they they barely know which way is up. And to take advantage of somebody in that vulnerable position is just absolutely sickening to me. And I don't hang out with people like that. And I call that kind of behavior out if I see it. And when I was working in the addiction treatment center, like I would tell the clients that. I would tell them about these stories. And like, here's the thing, you have to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself, like especially if you're like newly sober, like, why would somebody with multiple years of sobriety want to date you, you know? Like you're clearly not in a place to be dated by someone who supposedly has their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? So we, we all have to recognize too and kind of ask ourselves like, why is this person, you know, uh, uh, attracted to me, right? Because I know we all want to have this, uh, <laughs> this like Cinderella story where there's, you know, this this Prince Charming, somebody who's like, yeah, hey, oh, all right, and they just they found the inner beauty in me, and now I feel special, and all these other things. But it's just important to understand that like not everybody out there has the best intentions, and there are people out there who are abusing their power. The last thing I want to say, if you're a parent, and this is one of the reasons why I make these videos, like what can we take from these things? If for some reason you're a parent watching this like my suggestion is like know who your kids are talking to you know what I mean like know who they're talking to and like are they talking to somebody online and everything like that like my son's 10 years old and he just absolutely loves playing Fortnite and uh, uh, I think a healthy fear I have is 
who's he meeting online, who's he talking to, and sometimes I, I'll play games with them because I play Fortnite, and I get to see, and usually it's other kids and stuff, but it is this is a concern I have, seeing what else is going on in the world. So just interact with your kids, talk to them, have open dialogue with them, know who they're talking to, and everything like that. But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, have you, have you ever had somebody, you know, use, use that power dynamic to, I don't, I, I, I don't know, not take advantage or anything like that. And what suggestions would you give to other people? Like, I don't, I don't know what the solution to all of this is. Part of the solution, part of the solution is that people like James Charles and anybody else in a position of power just really needs to start getting their act together, realizing that this kind of stuff is a real dick move in my opinion, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get your name on these credits, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.